Hi guys, it's Jody. First and foremost, Happy New Year. We made it. <laughs> I hope 2021 is a great year for all of us because <clears throat> 2020 was a challenge, <laughs> as we all know, although there was some good stuff that came out of 2020, but I am really looking forward to 2021. And I hope all of you had a, a safe and happy new year. So today's video, um, I'm going to be testing out something else. Surprise! <laughs> if you don't know this about me already, if you're new, um, I like to test things out. I like to experiment. <clears throat> in, a prior, uh, in a prior life, I was an IT analyst, and it's kind of second nature for me to um, research, be, con be curious about th different things, and basically analyze. So <laughs> today's video isn't going to be any different. <laughs> Um, the product I'm use that I'm going to be testing out today, uh, a lot of you probably already use, but it's new for me. Um, I've, I've had a, a few people ask me now, uh, about it and I couldn't definitively answer because I, I don't, I've not used it. So I don't know, um, early on in, uh, when I took the Shelly art class back in, um, the fall of 2019, you know, we were all scrambling to try to figure out U.S. products that, that worked well. And um, this was one that a lot of people uh, used. And I had tried it and because I, I didn't even know what I was doing then either. I I, um, I didn't really like it. I, I didn't like how it worked for me. I, but again, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. So I'm <laughs> I'm bringing it back to try again. Um, because a lot of people are very successful with it and um, I'm hoping it's similar to uh, one of the other products that I use so maybe it would be easier for you to find. So with that it is the Minwax, the uh, polycrylic, the gloss varnish as opposed to the Minwax one coat varnish which is what I use and I really like. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna test this out. I have it mixed up with my Glidden um, I have it mixed up in just a little container. <clears throat> I've mixed it up the same way. Um, three to one, three parts of the Glidden to one part of this poly. And then I also have it mixed up in another container. Um, my uh, Bare Glidden uh, mixture that I like to use. And again, I did the same. It was uh, two parts of the Bare, one part of the Glidden, and then one part of the poly. So we're going to see what... Um, what that effect has. And I'm hoping that it works just the same as um, the, Min the Min Wax One Coat. And I'm gonna be using, you'll, you'll recognize the colors because I like to use these three colors um, only because I know how they respond. I, I can tell if it's working, if it's not working, if it's doing what I want it to do, what I don't want it to do, but it's the, um, the orange, the, uh, the teal and the purple colors that I like to use. So with that, Let's get started with this testing and have some fun. Alrighty. I'm gonna be using um, these four by six test pieces and I'm also gonna be talking through this, so <laughs> no music today. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I told you before, I like to use these four by six panels um, for my test pieces, just so I know what to look for and I don't waste. Um, a bigger canvas they're just they're pretty cheap but um and i know some have asked what i use to um secure you know any substrate that i'm putting on the spinner and when it's dry i'd like to just put a little bit of paint um on it and that way it won't fly off i have had that happen it was <laughs> quite comical but um just put a little bit of paint down usually you know if you're doing a few your second or third, you shouldn't need to put any more paint because you'll have um, paint from your last painting on there. So, um, And as always, all the products I use are usually at the beginning of the video, but this is the uh, Pittsburgh uh, Ultra Pillow in the satin, the white pastel base. Um, I get that at Menards, but uh, the other one that I love is um, at Home Depot. It's the the uh, uh, Glidden Premium, um, the Base One Pure White, and the Eggshell. Those two uh, I use 
um, exclusively. I'm just popping bubbles right now. My I'm getting to the end of the can and sometimes bubbles make their appearance. Okay, so the first test I'm going to do the uh, the Glidden with the Poly. And I've got the three colors that I usually test with. This is um, this is the Atelier Interactive Red Gold, which is probably my favorite orange. And I'm already messy, but that's okay. Consistency, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, this poly, I did notice, it does uh, thin, thin it even more. So if you want um, a little bit thicker consistency, or if you need it to be a little bit thicker consistency, I would add um, some of the gel gloss, the regular or the heavy gel gloss. I know Golden and Liquitex have it. Um, I've shown it in a prior, oops, that's not it, um, in a prior video, but this is this is what it uh, what it looks like. The or maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> regular gel gloss. Sorry about that. All right, next color. This is the Josonia Aqua that I usually use. And there's the consistency of it. All right. And then the last color is the, um, again, Josonia. It's uh, the dioxazine purple that I love so much. Um, and I've had some ask, um, with the Glidden, because it does have some titanium white in it, if you add too much, it will mute your colors. I don't find that it's excessive. Um, I try to find that balance. Um, it does look a little bit lighter, but once it dries, it dries true to color. Let me, let me bring the, this is the bare Glidden Poly, so if you can get that, um, this is a little bit lighter but not by much. Um, if that bothers you, then, you know, by all means use the, the, uh, the bare Glidden or just the bare by itself. Um, but I find that everything dries true to color and I absolutely just love the, the Glidden for, um, the effects it gives me. All right. And... I, I like to use both the black and the white um, cell activator, the same one I always use. I use the, um, uh, the, the Amsterdam Titanium White and the Amsterdam, Amsterdam Oxide Black. So I'll put my gloves on. All right. little embellishments. Someone else asked me how I do it and I might put a video together just specifically for that but um, you don't want to you don't want to bring your skewer or your toothpick or whatever it is you're using all the way down to the pillow if you can help it. I've, I've done it you know and then you'll see white coming through. Um, means you've got too much just like that <laughs> um, but sometimes that, that looks cool too 
So just keep that in mind. Add a little bit more pillow so we don't lose so much. Although some of this is going to come off the edge of the canvas, but I like to, I've always been known to put too much pillow on. Um, so I like to put some in the middle and then add around it just for a little bit more um, to make sure I don't put too much on there. So far, so good. It's reacting um, like the, the Minwax One Coat, this polycrylic. All right. Um, I almost expected as much, especially with the Glidden. The Glidden base, um, I found that that was always reactive to me. That was one that I found early on. And um, when I first took the course and it was very easy to work with, um, your paints were thinner, so you would get results a little bit easier. Yeah, that looks really nice. All right, I think I'm gonna call that one down. That worked out nice. Ooh. Let's not flip it over, Jody. That's so cool. All right, well, we'll see how she dries. over so you can see in more detail once I'm done with this next one. Just scrub this off. See there's enough paint on here now I don't really need to add any more for uh, for this second piece. We'll just go ahead and again I'm using another um, 4x6 uh, canvas panel. Same pillow, same colors I mixed up um, that I used with the Glidden. But now we're gonna we're gonna test out the um, oops the Bear Glidden Joe Sonia uh, pouring medium that I like to use and same colors. They mixed up just maybe a hair thicker, but not by much. This poly really does thin it out, which is nice. Aqua. I love this aqua. It's probably one of my favorite blues. And then the dioxazine purple. Oops, I don't think I showed you the... Did I show you? There's the consistency. And the purple. There we go. Big bubble. Pop that bubble. There we go. All right, and again the same um, cell activators: the black and the white. Um, and I just kind of eyeball it how much of the cell activator I use. Um, if you put more down, you'll probably have thicker veins because more will be staying on the surface instead of sinking down. If you use less, uh, it'll sink down more depending on how thin it is.
is still quite reactive. The um, the bare, because it is a bit thicker and that um, that mixture from the Glidden Poly is just a touch thicker. So you can see it took, it took a little bit more to react, but it does come up. I don't really notice it too much, but others, especially if you're newer, you might notice that it took just a little bit longer um, to come up. And that's okay. That's just because it's thicker. The paints um, themselves are a touch thicker. Ooh, that turned out nice. Yep. So far, so good with this poly. Now I see why everybody likes it. <laughs> I'm always the last to know, and I say that often. It's true, but that's okay. I usually figure it out eventually, and that's where I've got white in, but that's okay. These are just test pieces. Put a little bit of black in there. There we go. or pop bubbles that pop out of there. Add a little bit more pillow to this side just for spinning purposes. All right. I'm going to add just a touch over here. Some of it's going to get spun off anyways, but Wow, that is really pretty. Really nice. Those colors just pop. That's another reason I like using these colors. <laughs> these colors are just amazing together. Any excuse I have to test something with these colors, I will take it. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't, I don't want to disturb it. Look at that. Look at this on the spinner. It's so pretty. I'm going to call that down to right. so far. I think this is quite successful. I'm very curious how everything's going to dry. Here's the second one. I'll, uh, I'm going to get cleaned up and then I will bring it over for the flyover so you can see them up close. Um, and then after that, once they dry, I will be back. All right. Here is the first one. The, uh, the Glidden Poly Mix. Yeah reacted just like the um the glidden min the glidden min, Mac, min wax one coat that i normally use wow that looks really good all right and then here is the the bare glidden poly mixture oh, look at those colors this is why this is my favorite color combo <laughs> We'll see how well they dry. See right in there, the little wiggles. There's little wiggles sometimes, and I do get that with the bear. I almost feel like it's slippery, a little bit slippery, um, which is why uh, another reason why I cut it with the Glidden, um, not only to make it thinner, but hopefully a little bit less slippery, um, but still keep the vivid color. So there is a rhyme for my reason. So those are the two that I just did now. I'm going to, um, I'll be back once they're dried. And I'm back with the dried results of the polycrylic test I did with the Glidden and the Bare Glidden. 
So the first one, this was the Glidden Poly mixture test I did. The colors definitely dried true to color. If you remember, I showed you uh, the purple, the two purples together, the, 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 the one mixed with the Glidden and then the one mixed with the Bear. And the Bear was just slightly darker, but you could tell and you couldn't really tell. Um, but at any rate, I mean, it dries, it just dries beautifully. These colors are, are just amazing. And, and the cells stayed exactly as they were, which is what I was hoping for, because that's what I get out of the, the Minwax One Coat. So I think I can safely say that the, the polycrylic acts just like it. It is a bit thinner though. So if, um, if you need something thinner, you might want to go with the polycrylic as opposed to the Minwax One Coat. Now the next one is the Bear Glidden, the Bear Glidden Poly test that I did. And the colors are just beautiful. However, what I'm always, uh, what I'm always worried about is with the, especially with the Bear, I mentioned it was kind of slippery. Right in here, the cells shifted ever so slightly. And I get that with the Bear mixture more than I do the uh, Minwax, the the Glidden, just Glidden on its own. I'm still trying to work through that, trying to get the right ratios. And I also think I might leave a little bit more paint on, but I still feel like there's a little slippery portion of it. But anyway, it, it just, I mean, it, it's stunning and a little bit of movement, it still makes it really just beautiful. If you can see it kind of, gives you that bear is super clear it gives you a nice sheen because that's high gloss this um but even still with this glidden you do get a nice nice gloss it's more of a semi-gloss because glidden is semi-gloss <laughs> uh, and the bear is a high gloss mixed with the glidden so you, it's a little bit more but i just i feel like the colors see the colors they just dry the same that's a little bit better so my assessment <laughs> this polycrylic works great uh, I'm late to the game <laughs> as we all know but um, I really I really like the Minwax one coat however I'll probably start using the polycrylic with my bare Glidden only because it thins it out just a little bit more and I know some of you were asking about how to thin your paints and it, this might be a better option for you, if, especially if you can't find the Minwax One Coats. So with all that said, I really hope you found this video helpful. I had fun putting it together and I always have fun testing. <laughs> I can't help myself. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next time.